hands on him. Come on, let's put some hands together and give us a praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, the men praise God. Hallelujah. Oh, come on, come on, let's praise him. Hallelujah. Oh, we bow down and we praise him. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God, we thank you. God, we bow down and we praise you. We magnify your name again. We thank you for your goodness and your mercy. We thank you, God, for how you woke us up this morning. Started us on our way again. But, God, we thank you for the victory even on this day. We thank you, God, for another day, another time. Another opportunity to praise your name. We love you for saving us when you did. God, we pray that you look on the bereaved families. God, touch them and lift their pain, God. Penetrate their hearts right now. In the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we thank you for all things. The good and the bad, God. You told us in all things to give you thanks. And God, that's what we're going to do. We love you, Lord, right now. Save the unsaved, God, today. Deliver the bound today, Lord. Set free like you've never done before. And we do praise and thank you for it right now. In Jesus' name, thank God. Amen. You may be seated at this time. Thank God for another day. Amen to Superintendent Doris. Amen and all of God's people in the house of the Lord today. How many glad to be in the house of the Lord? Amen. I got a peel offering today. How many saved, amen, in this house? If Jesus came back right now, would you be ready to go back with him? If he came right now, would you be ready, amen, to, when the clouds open up? He said that the dead in Christ going to rise first. And everybody else here that remain will go back and be with Jesus. Let me... Man, I'm a working man. I like to be free, Mother Brooks. Amen to the Sister Brooks. And thank God for my wonderful wife. Amen. She take care of Brush Yanks. Amen. Amen. Thank God. So when I get off work, amen, I'll be ready to go home. Amen. Because I got something to go home to. Amen. Somebody that love me and take care of me. Amen. I ain't going to prolong the time. Amen. If you got your Bibles, amen, let's go into the book of 2 Corinthians Amen. Chapter 4 and 3. Amen. How many got their Bibles today? Amen. But to them that don't have their Bibles today, let's go to 2 Corinthians 4 and 3 and just put it up on the screen. Amen. Just put it up on the screen. Amen. Amen. Would you just stand with us, just pause with us just for a minute and amen. And while you're there, amen, it's on the screen and the ones that have their Bibles. Let's read this together. Amen. Let's read. Amen. Chapter 2 Corinthians chapter 4 and 3. Let's read right now. But if the gospel be here, it is here to them that are lost, in whom the God of this world has blinded the minds of them which believe it not. Stop right there. Amen. And the thought we're going to use today, are you connected? Amen. Look at the person next to you that's here. Are you connected? You can have your seats. 
Amen. But he's telling us here, but if the gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, and who the God of this world has blinded the minds of them which believe it not. But first of all, we have to realize we're dealing with two gods. We dealing with Almighty God, and we're dealing with the God of this world. But look at the person next to you and say, but if you are saved, greater is he that's in you than he's that's in the world. If the devil, amen, if he is in the world and God is our almighty God, amen, God have given us something, amen, that we can fight him with. Amen. He give us the Holy Ghost. Amen. Because he is all power, amen, that we need. He are lead. And you know, in this world by yourself. But things sometimes come along and distract us and make us do some things that we don't want to do. Amen. But when you got the power down on the inside of you, you can bind the devil. Amen. Because let me, I'm a walking preacher. Amen. He have given us something that we can bind the devil with. Amen. That's the hope of glory that's on the inside of us. But when you got God down on the inside, amen, he is what we need to keep us going. Amen. Because hey, sometimes, amen, we want to say, Lord, bind the devil. Amen. God ain't going to bind him. He give you the power to bind the devil. He said whatsoever is bound on earth is bound in heaven, and whatsoever bound in heaven is bound on earth. So, amen, and what you need, God got what just what you need. If we only just, amen, just look to him. Because he is the author and finisher of our faith. I don't care what we try to do. Without God, we cannot do anything. Because the greater, closer, he said that he want to be on this. What well, I'm going to say. He said the closer he want to be with us. It's on the inside of us. You won't make no mistake if you got him on the inside of you. Amen. Because whatever what you ask after you have prayed, he said we can have it. But it's something that we must do. We got to pray and seek the Lord. We got to the opposite. He said in all our ways to acknowledge him. And he said what? Amen. But if you don't acknowledge him, that's in every era in our life. If you want a husband, you have to acknowledge him. Brothers, if you want a wife, you got to acknowledge him. You whatever what you need, you got to acknowledge him. Whatever what you going through with, you got to acknowledge him. You got to acknowledge him on your job. You got to acknowledge him in your finances. Amen. Sometimes your finances might be tied up. Amen. Say, God, loose my finances. Amen. Let my finances go. Amen. Because sometimes our things that we need sometimes. Amen. It's caught up. Amen. Because we're not praying and hooked up to God. Amen. If we are hooked up to God, amen, and God is hooked up to us, he said we can ask what we will, Mother Brooks. He can ask God what you need and what you need right on time if you ask him. Amen. Because I remember, brother, 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 like, hey, glory, help me, Lord. Amen. Because before I got saved, amen, I was a drug addict. Amen. I was messed up on that drugs. I was messed up on that cocaine. I was doing that speed and drinking sweet Lucy, brothers. I was drinking that sweet Lucy. Don't even know how I got home the next day. How many of y'all were drinking that wine? How many of y'all were drinking that white pork in that, that old folks 2020? How many of y'all like, hey, I know you ain't been saved all your life. Hey, Amen. How do you have your Jenny Roth red? How many of y'all, you were snorting that cocaine? Hey, Amen. How were you drinking that wine and taking that speed and doing all of that stuff? Amen. But once I heard, amen, it was destroying me. After I heard the word of God, a change have taken place. But he said, but if the gospel be here, it is here to the lost, whom the God of this world. Don't you know that the enemy blind your mind? We was all blind before we got saved. But if Jesus decided to come back right now, amen, the saints of God will be gone. And you'll be left here. It's no reason. Why nobody should be lost, but a lot of folks are going to be lost in the church. I use this three things. We deal with three kind of people that go to church. I use it all the time. Church folks, saved folks, 
and religious folks. Look at that person next to you and say, church folks, saved folks, and religious folks. Which one are you? Church folks, saved folks, and religious folks. Don't y'all realize and understand, amen, that the devil go to church too? The devil sing in the choir? The devil be at the door as Ben playing the usher? Being a deacon, it is bad to say the devil, he got churches and he got preachers too. That's why if you connect it with God and get the thing that God has given to you, amen, you know, otherwise you'll discern them things when they come upon you. Red light. You say, is there something about that brother I can't understand? Lord, what is it? You can question God about every situation. Because if he your leader, he your guider, amen, you can see a crook when you see it. Because crooks that go to church too. Because I tell you, church folk, they know how to do it. Amen. They know how to shout. They got classes that they go to to shout. Classes they go to to speak in tongues. They got all kind of classes now called copycats. Because the devil, amen, he's doing all he can now to try to deceive many folks. It's possible because he knows his doom is soon. He know he just got a short little while. He ain't got much time as he used to have. I need somebody to read from it before we can come on down through here. Give somebody a mic. I want you to follow along with me. I want somebody to read that we can follow down through here. But one thing we have to realize, he said, but if the gospel be here, it is here to the lost in whom the God of this world have blinded the minds of them which believe it not. See, but one thing, faith come by hearing and hearing by the word of God. You got to hear it, amen, for it to connect, just like a credit card. That credit card ain't no good unless you activate it. And once it's being activated, amen, but you have to have, amen, the spirit of discernment with that too. Amen, called self-control. Some folk ain't got no self-control. Amen. amen, because sometimes people have an eating disorder. I went to these people's house one day, amen, they had a chain on the refrigerator with a, a diesel meat lock on there. I walked in that house, amen, I said, what kind of house is this? Had a chain wrapped around the refrigerator with a meat lock on it. Because folks would stop eating. They knew when lunchtime was coming, they hear them keys jingling. They knew when dinner time was coming, amen, they heard the keys jingling. When they got done, amen, eat, they put the chain lock on the refrigerator. Because folk will walk and eat all night long in your house. Got to have some rules and regulations in your house. Come on, read, my brother. Amen. See, uh, let's go down to right. Hey, but if the gospel be here, it is here to them and lost, in whom the God of this world have blinded the minds of them that believe it not. Start from there. Believe it not. And go down. Lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ. Lest the light of the glorious gospel. That's why he tell us, stick right there. That's why he tell us, let your light till you get saved. Let your light shine before men that they will see that your head of change have taken place in your life. Cause them to want to be saved. Because if God, God, he cannot use nobody but his people. But the devil, he used folks to take advantage of you and make a fool out of you. Amen. To take what you got. Come on, read my brother. Who is the image of God? Uh huh. Should shine into them. Mm -hmm. For we preach not ourselves. We're we not preaching to each other now. We're not preaching to you. I'm going to make notice on you. We're not preaching to each other. We is preaching, amen, to activate that's what's in you. For you can tell somebody to come into the word of God, amen, for they can get saved. It's just not the pastor's job, it's our job. That's why we got to be empowered, amen, that we can go out and inspire and tell somebody else. Come on, read. But Christ Jesus, But the Christ Lord, Jesus. And ourselves are servants for Jesus' sake. Now, we are servants. We are saved to serve. We save and be delivered, amen, that somebody else can be delivered. I remember when I went down to Cook County Prison, Amen. And preach down there, cook down in prison down there. And after they searched us and checked us out, little old guy like me just walked in there. I'm just so, oh Lord, I'm ready to take care of the business right now. I'm ready to take care of the business. I walked in that room, Sister Brooks. I felt my flesh all over me. 
<laughs> it's about 150 men incarcerated down there in the Cook County prison. These were some big old men. It's just little old me, amen. I was just like this. Oh, oh God. I was just whisper prayer to the Lord. I said, Lord, you got to do this. I can't do this. And the Lord was down on the inside. I said, Lord, you got to do it. I can't do this. Amen. And I don't care how long I've been preaching. I said, Lord, I cannot do this. Look at all them great big old guys. Amen. They muscle bound and all this kind of stuff. And I said, Lord, I'm depending on you. You got to depend on God. Everything you do just about now. Amen. Because, amen, great is he that's in us, that he's that's in the world. Amen. And once we begin to go forth in the message, amen, God just calming down and he just moved up. And said, man, I got the victory right now. Because God, he's down on the inside of us. Oh, is he there? We'll be okay. Come on, read, my brother. For God, who commanded the light to shine out of the darkness, uh -huh. has shined it in our hearts. Yes. To give the light of knowledge mm -hmm. and the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. See, Jesus is our Savior. He's Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending. Without God, we cannot do anything. Young people, you in trouble without God. You had trouble without God. I was working in my yard, amen, and got burned up with fire. Amen. I got burned up so bad, amen, I couldn't even go to work for a while. My wife kept telling us, us men, we get proud sometimes. We don't want our wives to tell us nothing. Like we know everything. We don't know everything. He said, she your help me. She's supposed to help meet your need and help you. Amen. In our ignorance. And I tell you, I got burned up in that fire. My wife was saying, baby, you need to go to the emergency room. I said, I'm all right, I'm all right. That cold water, cold water, cold water, I'm all right. But the, uh, I just, the couple days later, my whole face was just burned up. I couldn't get no sugar, brother, for a month. My lips was burned up. My nose was burned up. My hand was burned up. What degree was that? First or second degree burn. I went to work, they went to clapping their hands and everything at work. Amen. But I was in trouble. And I, my, I looked in that mirror. My face was looking so bad. I said, Lord, your word said. See, reason why sometimes, saints, he said, we have not because we ask not. Don't make no difference what the situation is. He said, we have not because we ask not. In the state that I was in, with my face, I looked in that mirror. I said, Lord, my desire is that you would heal my face. That's my desire. I said, Lord, but if you don't heal my face, I'm going to preach for you looking like a monster anyway. That's the way I took it. I got tough just that way. When came home, she said, baby, come on, come out the house. Let's go to the mall for a few minutes and pick up a couple things. I got courage to go. And this one man see me at the counter. He spoke to them and he spoke to me. He said, how you doing? I said, I'm doing fine. He said, look like you've been in a barbecue. Accept criticism because I'm a criticism person sometimes. I laughed about that situation. And I went back to that mirror and prayed that prayer. I said, God, my desire is that you will heal my face. Next thing I know, I just I tucked that mask, was on my face, and I pulled it off. I pulled every burn spot off. I pulled every skin that was messed up on my face. Amen. And when I pulled it off, it was just like baby skin on my face. God can touch you in any situation you're in. If you is willing enough and honest with yourself and say, God, I got a problem. I need you to help me in my problem. You're trying to fix that problem by yourself, but it's not going to work. It takes God to do this thing for you. He said, if you acknowledge him and ask him, he said, I will do it for you. If you acknowledge him and ask him. See, sometimes, amen, we're very proud. We're very proud. If I get in that prayer line, folks going to know my business. You might as well just get out of that business and get you some new business. He said, if any man be in Christ, he said, he is a new creature. Old things have passed away, and behold, all things become new. That's what God will do for you. If you are to be, be daring enough and, and concentrated enough and say, God, I got a problem. I need you to help me in my dilemma. I go to the Lord all the time. I go to the Lord crying. Say, God, I forget about that. I'm a man. I know I'm a man. But when things get so bad, when things get so tough, 
Amen. But you will let God come in. He will fix it for you. Look at the person next to you. Say, God made you just the way you are. Pretty, ugly, big, and red. God made you just the way you are. You need to take care of yourself. Love you. Look in the mirror and say, I know I am somebody. Because God don't make no junk. God made us just the way we are. Come on, preach, my brother. But we have this treasure in earthen vessels. Uh -huh. That the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. Not of us. It's not, it ain't about us. It's about Jesus. Because he is the author and finisher of our faith. Come on, my brother. We are troubled on every side. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Somebody in trouble right now. Somebody in trouble right now. Your problems can stop right now. Is you connected to the vine? Jesus is the true vine. And our father is the husband man. And every branch in him that bears not fruit, he take it away. Amen. And then he shake it. That you may bring forth more fruit. But without him, you cannot do anything. It take God to do it for you. Come on, read, my brother. Yet not distressed. Uh-huh. We are perplexed. Yes. But not in despair. Uh-huh. Persecuted. Persecuted. Stay persecuted, Jesus. And they're going to persecute you. Somebody is jealous of what you can do. I listen to my brother over here play that organ. Brother, I can't play a lick. I just doom, 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 doom. I can't play a lick. A lot of y'all got gifts that God gave to you that he wanted to use it for the church. We should not have to drive past a cemetery. Whole lot of gifts out there that wasn't even used. But you know, otherwise he came that you may have life and that you will have life more abundantly as in him. God comes to give us life. The devil comes to take life. But Jesus died that you will have life after this life. Ain't no such thing as recarnation. No such thing. I die today, I'll come back a lamb. I die today, I'll come back a giraffe. I die today. I'm a man. I'll come back as a woman. No, you ain't. My mother had this young man in our house, and I'll be through in a few minutes. Amen. Had this young man in the house and told me, I'm trying to find my identity. Mama said, I'll tell you what, baby, what you do. You go in the bathroom, lock the door, take all your clothes off, and look in the mirror, and you got your identity. <laughs> You won't get it mixed up then. Everything God gave it gave you, he gave it to you for a reason. He gave the man what he got. Y'all know what I'm talking about. To replenish earth. Two men can't produce nothing. And two women can't produce nothing. Amen. I thank God. Amen. I worked in a hospital 20 years in labor and delivery. I heard all that hollering and screaming. I'm saying, what's wrong with her? She finna produce. <laughs> I've been with my wife, had Jasmine. Amen. I'm sitting there with my legs crossed. Amen. I'm going to tell on her. I'm sitting there with my legs crossed. Amen. Just comfortable. And she's sitting there just moving and moving, waiting till the baby come for her. And she looked at me and said, you know what? I'm going to slap you. I said, baby, what you gonna slap me for? I said, I ain't did nothing. She said, oh, yeah, you did do something. Woo! Woo! When you begin to go through them different motions, begin to go through them different things in life, hey, amen, it brings about a different change. Come on, read, my brother. But not forsaken. Not forsaken. Cast down. Cast down. But not destroyed. Uh-huh. Always bearing about in the body of the dying of the Lord Jesus. Yes. Read. That that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our body. Our bodies. Our bodies. This is your church right here. This the church, y'all. When I'm at home and, and with me and my wife, see my wife, we me and I, we pray all the time together, every day. We make time to pray. Amen. 
this is the church y'all Jesus said the closer he want to be with you it's on the inside of you but if you're not connected to the vine and then when you're praying and you connected to the vine it's born again saved and sanctified filled with the Holy Ghost again other stuff will start falling off you you don't supposed to be in the same place that this year next year next year is supposed to be growth you're supposed to grow growth amen amen will take you in a place where you've never been before growth you got to be saved and connected and grow then you can tell somebody you ain't got to worry about trying to handle all these different cults out here amen if you're not ready to handle them you got to know what the word saying for yourself when them Jehovah Witnesses come to my house I say first of all come on let's have a word of prayer I go to praying, sister. I say, I, pray, I grab their hand. I say, let's pray. And I start to pray. So they be, we don't pray like that. We, they be trying to run. I say, Lord, have your way. I say, Lord, save them, Lord. Touch them, Lord. Deliver right now. In the name of Jesus. I don't condemn them, but they be running out of my driveway. Next thing I know, they wrote my address off of their paper. Don't go over there. That little preacher, man, he'll pray for you. Prayer changes things. Prayer will change your situation. Prayer will make you do right. Prayer will make you stay there. You don't pray, you don't stay, you don't fast, you don't laugh. But prayer will turn your situation around. Come on, somebody say praise the Lord. It'll turn it around. How many of you are not saved? How many of you are not saved? Be honest with yourself. Be honest. I'm just about done. How many of you here that's not saved? If Jesus came back right now, don't you know you'd be lost? Or go through the great tribulation. You may take that mark on your forehead and in your right hand. I ain't letting my baby starve. You take it, you deny Christ. It's no reason why folks not, not saved. But he said in the last days. Hell is time she'll come. We are living in the last days. Jesus is on his way back. So whatever what you got to do for the Lord. You got to do it quickly swiftly when the Lord tell you to do something do it swiftly do it quickly fast be anxious to do it this lady was baking a cake in her house amen the Lord told her go to the hospital and pray for this person so she stayed there baking her cake and after she got done doing everything she wanted to do amen she got herself together to go to the hospital to pray for that person when she got there, they pulled a cover over that person's face. Because she did when she wanted to do it. And she said her testimony was, I felt like a sinner. I felt that I was wrong. I feel bad. Because when you don't obey God, you should feel bad. Because God wants to use you. Amen. Are you available for him to use you? Are you saved? Let's do this one more time. Before I take my seat in about five minutes. How many here is not saved? Come on, be honest with yourself. How many here that's not saved? Appeal. If Jesus came back right now, would you be ready to go back with him? Right now. Have you accepted the Lord as your own personal Savior and say, Lord, that's me. I've got to be honest with you, God. I know if you came back right now, Lord, I know I'm not ready to go with you. That's what I'm talking about. Now, I'm going to do it again. How many here that's not saved? Be honest. Just be honest. How many? There's some more in here. How many here that's not saved? is ready to go back with Jesus right now if you can. How many? Sister, could I pray for you? Let me pray for you right quickly. Let me pray for you. If anybody else in here that's not saved, young or old, hell had enlarged itself. There's room at the cross for you. If you be ashamed of him, He'll be ashamed of you before the Father. Now you know, amen, that you know that you're not right with God. You know you should be saying, preacher, look here. I just, just, I'm going to do it this way too. He said, well, preacher, 
I'm not ready to get saved but could you just pray for me if that's you come right now you can come I'm not ready to get saved right now but could you just pray for me if that's you come appeal come you know I ain't got nothing in my hands I ain't got no trick schemes or scams that appeal was to me before but God have your way right now he says you come come you know you're working in the church that you're not saved singing in the choir David said, I'd rather be a doorkeeper in the house of the Lord to be in the tents of the wicked. But you is in the church. Don't be like the church folks. Be saved in Jesus' name. You don't have to leave the same way. You can go another way. Oh, God. How you doing, my brother? How you, you feeling all right today? That's a beautiful thing, man. Just to be honest with you and be honest with God. That's all it takes. I ain't got no heaven or hell to put you in. But that's between you and you and God and you and God alone. I'm going to pray for you. That's all I'm going to do. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for my brother right now. God, you said we draw now to you. You will draw now to us. God, I pray for my brother right now that you will touch him, God. From the crown of his head to the sole of his feet. God, don't let him leave the same way. But let him go another way. In Jesus' name. Stir up in him right now. From the crown of his head to the sole of his feet. In the mighty name of Jesus. God, I thank you for him right now. In Jesus' name. And I give you the praise for him. Oh God, do the work in him, God. Use him for thy glory in the name of jesus and i give you the praise and the honor and the glory and i thank you for it in jesus name thank god amen and amen god bless you my brother oh sister how you doing don't you know that god loves you he loves you more than you can ever imagine and don't you know look at me i'm not a bad looking guy amen you know but let me tell you something when you is not saved and you happen to pass in this life without God, there's no turning back. You leave here, the real you, that soul that's in there, it got to come up out of that body and it got to spend eternity somewhere. It's going to spend eternity with the Lord or it's going to spend eternity in hell. But you have to choose this day and who you're going to serve. You can't serve God and mammon too. So if you accept Jesus today, you will out of everything you have done or be wiped away. I don't care what it is. If you say, Lord, forgive me for my sins, it's gone. He threw it in a lake of forgiveness and he won't bring it back anymore. Do you want to accept him today? That's a beautiful thing. Hallelujah. Thank you.